guys welcome back to what would dare you wear today i am doing a mini haul of gifted and or purchased designer items that i've gotten recently um so i will start off with my most recent item which was gifted by brandon blackwood a household name that we know and love um and I was excited about it because I didn't know what they were sending. So I was excited to see what they were sending and it ended up being this super cute bag. And I love it. Um, now I don't wear a lot of pink, but I was like, you know, this gives me the opportunity to wear more pink or just add a pop of color to maybe more of a plain or simple or chic look. Um, and it's a good, it's got some good space in here. All right, cause you know, obviously the, the buckets and the trunks can be a little small you know what i'm saying and so for me i at least got to have enough space for my phone and it does it has a good amount of space i can put you know all my lip gloss my perfume a portable charger all that jazz even my um my dji camera um, but yes, thanks to Brandon Blackwood. Thank you for gifting me that bag. I absolutely love it. Um, we'll stay in the range of bags. Um, this is my last bag. Um, that I actually came upon this bag. Um, I follow the Instagram League Fits, which is just basketball players fits. So someone runs an Instagram account where they post the basketball players and what they wear. Um, and one of the basketball players was wearing this bag. And I was like, damn, that's a really nice bag. So I literally just, cause they didn't have the brand name tagged. I'm really good. And I think this is another reason why I like being a stylist. I'm very, very good at finding items, even if they're not like tagged or I don't have a reference for it. Um, all I did was search, um, what did I search for this? Knit bag. And I, after a couple clicks, I was able to find it. Um, I think I got this off either Farfetch or Essence. Um, it is now sold out. They had like a, maybe like three different styles or co like colorways. Um, this one has the majority black. I think there was another one with like a cream or a white um, accents. And the brand is La Melanessa. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like maybe a maybe a smaller brand. I've never heard of it, but they do care, you know have a few different style bags. But I love this because of the style and how big it is. So you can see, compared to my upper half, it um, is a really good size. And the handles were, you know, something else that really kind of stood out to me. Um, I spent this was two hundred. $200 bag, um, not bad, especially, you know, I think either Farfetch or Essence has Klarna or Afterpay, one of those, so if you needed to break it up, you could do that. Um, but 200 wasn't too bad to me, especially because it's very unique. Um, and I had to have it because I actually have a hat. And what else do I have? I have a scarf that's the same, like, so it was a no brainer for me because I like to buy bags or things that, you know, not everybody is gonna buy that's just me um but yeah like i said it's sold out but i will i wonder what i can do in the i'll put the name brand and the style name of the bag that way you can google it yourself and kind of find out where to watch it or maybe i can try and link it see if you can watch the bag or be notified or something like that um when it's restocked um the next item that i have i will i just actually got this in last week um it is a sweatshirt and i hope i'm not gonna butcher the name Vemo, Vemo, whatever <laughs> i got this really cute sweatshirt and it says committed to excellence the cutest of the fruits and okay i am the cutest of the fruits okay real super sweet all right um and then on the back it has another like um logo on the back um it is a unisex sweatshirt i got a size medium it was between the medium and the large um i guess the sub brand of zappos had it and then it sold out so i ended up finding this 
on what website did I get this from? Netaporte, I think. Um, I'll make sure to link it when I find it in stock because um, it was very slim pickings. I thought maybe the medium would fit me, but the medium is perfect because it's an oversized fit. So I can't wait to style it. Um, super cute, chill sweatshirt, something to wear, you know, day to day for sure. Um, I'm thinking biker shorts or something or some leggings um, with that. How much was it? It was 400 it was a pretty penny um but i like to when it comes to designer items i usually try and find items something that i can use or wear you know more often than none um or investment pieces things that i know um that i could pass down to my future kids or daughter or whatnot so that's how i work when it comes to designer items i don't really like to buy anything where i feel like oh i probably won't want this in a couple of years no i want something either that's going to get my cost per wear or um something that i plan on passing down so i'm not going to be like trying to sell it or anything like that um the next two items are from the same brand, Mason Margiela. Your girl got two pair of tabby boots. Two pair, different, separate occasions. Um, but I had always wanted a pair. And I think um, these, the first pair wasn't on sale, but I just really, really wanted a pair so I got I grabbed a gray pair um and boy aren't they pretty love the toe split what I will say is that they are hard in my opinion like these are definitely some boots that you want to break in um these came to about a thousand like not like yeah like a thousand eighty um which isn't terrible, but it's really good quality leather. Um, and I like the color because obviously it's neutral and I can wear it with just about anything. And it comes with like these cute little sock booty things for the boots to protect them. And I haven't gotten rid of the boxes. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and try and hold on to the boxes as long as I can. Um, I'll link where I got them from. The most recent pair that I got, I got them on sale from, dang, I, I hate that I'm like forgetting where I got this stuff from, but I got them on sale. I don't know if you guys follow Fashion Sherlock on Instagram, but she posts tons of like designer sales. There's also a girl on Instagram, her Insta is BK Deal Guru. Guru. I just started following her and she posts tons of sales. So they are trouble, definitely trouble, but I really enjoy following them because I get the best deals. So anyways, um, Fashion Sherlock posted these and I got them for 400, 400 compared to the thousand dollar pair and the leather is way softer, okay? And I feel like these were a little more comfortable than the other ones and they're literally the same, like the same style, same heel height. Um, but I would suggest trying to break them in, wearing them around the house, wearing them outside, because they just a little hard to me. But I've heard that people just, they love them because they, they're comfortable. And I think they are. It's just, of course, getting adjusted to the toe split too, um, which I think I'm gonna order some toe split socks off Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes, I got these for 400 and I was ecstatic because I wanted a pair that was a pop of color because I bought the plain uh, gray ones. So yes, but again, you can see how soft the leather is. And it's just more like flimsy than the gray. The gray is more structured. This one, I think these are gonna be like, your, oh, let me throw those on with some jeans. It'll be my pop of color if I'm doing like a um, Canadian tuxedo or whatever. Um, but yeah, I would suggest getting a pair. I think I want another pair but I want a flat pair. So I'm looking into those. I kind of was looking at maybe um, even the patent leather. I saw like a perforated pair. 
So I'm just kind of like looking around, seeing what I want next, but I've been chilling lately. Literally have been chilling. Um, but I did want to share those items with you guys. I'll make sure to link anything that's in stock in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.